Dum da 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 dum da 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 dum da 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 da. As the Burgundian troops march through Provence's wayward territories, the people scatter as we take their livelihoods and burn their fields. And just to like, I need to add some emphasis to that. There we go. Here we go. Boom. Burn. Wasted five mil points, but burnt it down. I'll show those Provencians. We're in charge now, and they better not. They better not try and fight back, or burn more of their crops, and they will starve. Because we'll take the rest of their crops that aren't burnt, because we're in charge. That's right. Anyway, where are we? We we are currently sieging Provence. Uh, Castile wants to marry me. Castile currently has an heir, so I'm not interested. Need to be careful with my diplomatic relations anyway. Uh, I could marry Castile or Austria. Of the two, Castile would be the better choice. The manpower, that's not bad. Normally 600 manpower would be like, Puh, not important, but right now, with... Uh, was having we would have a manpower deficit actually how many we're six thousand troops short so no we don't have a manpower deficit but manpower is much more important now um so that's always nice what do we actually want here we want these that nobody gives um half a flying duck about that uh, i do believe if i try and take one of these so yeah nobody's really particularly happy about me doing that i take them as a vassal you know what guys this looks really bad, but actually, if you critique this closely, most of these are only 56, and our aggressive expansion goes down by 2.8 a year. So in two or three years, the aggressive expansion will be low enough such that we could take Lorraine off of him. And that may well be worth waiting on. Um, how much, because I think Lorraine has some good provinces, 17 and 16, yeah. So they have 33 development between them. Um, though they're as good as like, actually no, they're not as good as any of our guys up here. But they're better than nothing. And they, it may be better to get rid of them, make, get rid of our alliance with Austria and replace them with Lorraine. Obviously that sounds like a retarded idea. However, hear me out here. Austria is probably going to turn on us anyway when the Burgundian inheritance fires. And we do now have our alliance with Castile, who's also quite the uh, power down here. Plus, we eventually need this territory anyway. And this is a way of getting it without too big of uh, an aggressive expansion impact. Because vassalizing gives lower aggressive expansion than just taking territory outright. Um, there's little point in me improving relations with these guys. Um, I think the only thing I really, because by the time I've actually improved relations with this many people, um, two or three years are going to have passed anyway, and it's going to have ticked down. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just keep my troops in these territories and just loot them down. So we'll make ourselves some money being here. And we're going to leave it to our subjects to actually finish sieging Provence. He's not much of a threat to us. And if we're going to take Lorraine off of him, which I think we are. I think that's not a bad move here. Uh, we do need to hang about in this war for a while. What we can do in the meantime is possibly get our institution. None of these are super high. What have we got here? Who are we going to annoy? We could annoy the clergy. I can't just throw money at the clergy anymore. It, you, before, whenever I got these events, I'd always pick annoy the clergy and then I'd just do the action that was throw money at them to make them happy, but we can't do that anymore. Um, we could take the relations hit here. That would not be too bad. Um, it would be more annoying to annoy the burghers more. So yeah, I'm going to take the hit with the clergy there. Um, do we want to head over to Anjo? We'll head over to Anjo when these guys are done. In fact, with a bit of luck, this might be done. In fact, who are you? You're Brabant and Holland. Can I tell Brabant and Holland to come over here? I'll be honest, I'm not particularly familiar with how to do this. Here we go. This isn't something I usually bother doing, but we can send Brabant and Holland. Oh, I can't tell them both to go over there. Well, that kind of sucks. Lorraine, can you not get involved, please? Oh, no. Sorry, Lorraine. You chose the wrong engagement there. Maybe you didn't. Oh, Provence is there. Can Provence save them? Oh, my subjects ran away. Which means uh, we're possibly going to lose that siege.
Now, ah, he can't get to the siege because he's stuck on his own fort there. Excellent. So we will meet up here. I don't want to attack into these highlands here. We can hold all of our troops here. That's fine. Now, is there, there's some grasslands back there. So if we follow them, we might be able to catch them in the grassland. Although, to be honest, taking this next fight might not be necessary. Actually, now, let's see if we can save Brabant. Oh, might be too late. Oh, no, Brabant got away. If I can just be a bit cheeky here and pin Provence's troops up here, then we can let our subjects finish that off. I'll tell them... Stop going to there. Uh, maybe he's not going to listen to me. Okay. In that case, I will just sit here. No, I won't sit here and support my men because he's going to go in for the fight. Ah, more manpower. God damn you, Provence. You took my manpower. I'll teach you a lesson. There you go. That's what I thought. Dirty Provence. Castile! Castile have just shot themselves in the foot. What is this? I mean, a consort of a 666 is nice. But I don't think Maria de Trastamara here was the correct choice. Over taking control of Aragon. Aragon gave up. No, Aragon's, and Aragon has Navarra. He gave up Naples earlier. But yeah, I, I think you made a poor choice there, Castile. I could have done with you being more powerful. You were supposed to be my defense over here when I annoyed the Empire. Okay, we can see um, right now. Ooh, a lot of those are higher. Why are a lot of those higher? Has, Pro has Provence's um, excommunication... Oh, his excommunication dropped out. God damn it. I can still take those two provinces. Which in that case, we will just take these two. It's no longer worth us pushing it further. I can take a Humiliate off him as well, which is nice because that's Monarch points. And we get some money. Yeah. Money, Monarch points, and a Humiliate. That is fine. We're also very nearly at our governing capacity. Now, I don't know exactly how this works now. I presume when I go over this, I start getting negatives from it. Um, I wonder if it's just the same where it's... I'll let my armies reinforce first. I wonder if the negatives are still just corruption. If they are, that's fine, because we can just pay it off. Um, we got any closer to here yet? Can somewhere else get the institution, please? I would appreciate it. Oh, we actually... Um, Barrowis? Don't know how you say it. This ter territory here has it, so... That will help us get it faster. So I think the next thing is probably just waiting for our truce with the French here to run out. We've got four years on that. It's a shame that England hate us. Because if we could pull England into a war against the French, that'd be really good. Um, let's see. Neither Castile nor Austria are too into this. We could pull Austria in if we had the favours with him. We only get one every three years of Austria, though, because apparently uh, he's this big, bad Holy Roman Emperor, and we're just pathetic little Burgundy, and so he doesn't believe he's entitled to help us in our wars. Or rather, we're entitled to receive his support. Um, let's see, do we want to build up... No, until, until we're near the manpower cap, there's no need to necessarily do anything there. We can't annex any of our junior partners for a while yet. I'm going to take another prestige hit, that kind of hurts, but oh well. Um, I would like... We can take more land. I don't need to take more land right now. Does it tell me how many rebels are going to pop up? It says rebels may rise up, but it doesn't tell me how many, which makes me wary. We'll leave that for now. I'll wait and see if we can... How... What is the... Why has the equilibrium just gone down? 
Okay, so the equilibrium is calculated at base 30, plus 5, plus 2.3. Okay, so they could do having more stuff. Because we want the equilibriums for all of them to be over 50. Yeah, so we actually want to give the... The merchants here a bit more stuff because their loyalty equilibrium is too low. We could give them that's going to take away crown line. I don't want to do that. Daily prestige in return. This is nice. Minus five percent tax is not awful. So right now, what is that? So if uh, eight point zero two is one hundred and five percent. So we would be losing, what, like 0.4 of a ducat a month? And we'd be trading that for 20 prestige right now and half a yearly prestige. Not too bad. I'd also put that up. Is there a plus 10? This is a plus 10. This is straight up um, plus 10 loyalty, plus 10 influence, and that's that. So I think just sticking that in there is not a bad idea. That gets the equilibrium to still not quite enough. I'm tempted to... We give them another monopoly. That would give us some money right now as well. And that doesn't give them any more influence. It just it does just give us loyalty. So I'll allow them a monopoly. And we also have the clergy here could do with just a little bit higher... Loyalty equilibrium. Ooh, yearly papal influence wouldn't be bad. Don't want to do anything that gives crown land. Uh, again, this is just loyalty and influence. So that one's fine. And then all of them should tick up to be over 50 now. And then when they're all over 50, we can seize some more land without any rebels appearing. But we don't need to be in a hurry to seize land. In the late game, having more territory is definitely what you want. But right now, while we are losing out on having a bonus from having, I believe, 40% crown land, um, it's not a big deal. We can summon a diet as well. That will get their loyalty up. Okay, so that is improve somewhere. Have at least 10 prestige. I could maybe do that prestige one that we looked at before. Or Burgundy has at least 20% or more trade power in Bordeaux. Is it Bordeaux? I don't know how you say it. Over here. We do have 20% trade power. Oh, less, but there needs to be total privateers less than 5%. Okay. So, they are less than 5%. Also, England will probably go away at some point. I'm going to stick that on there. And what we can also do to help us achieve that is I can probably build some more boats. I can build aim another boat. Yeah, 20% or more trade power and total privateers is less than 5%. And we completed it. I would assume that's because England took their privateers out. Russian Confederation, so that's just uh, Danzig's a thing over here. That also made the merchants like us more, which is nice. We just need to wait for the clergy to tick up now. Uh, we're getting like 0.2 a month. There's 6% we need, so that will take 5 times 6 is 30, so 2.5-ish years, I think, until we'll be able to seize some more crown land without annoying the clergy. Now, what else is going on? Is there anything important going on? So, we know Aragon took a bit of land off Castile. Castile refused the Iberian wedding, which was stupid. Naples has broke away. Poland's looking great. Uh, Brandenburg appears to have not taken all of his territory here. I don't know if that's supposed to go to him, because it used to be one province. Muscovy's doing Muscovy things. The Ottomans have not killed the Byzantines yet. They're allied to Serbia. They don't have any particularly strong allies, so that's surprising. Uh, there's nothing else that particularly stands out to me as being special. 
Obviously, we wrecked the French, which stopped them taking some of their territory back from the English. We're losing a great power status, but there's nothing we can do about that right now. Truce to the Papal State ended. Whatever. Austria will soon be passing a second reform. Uh, Castile, do you have an heir? You do. So, I'm not interested in marrying you. Maria is apparently 66 years old. Yeah, really, we're just waiting till we can declare war on France again now. Uh, we need to get some techs up, but I don't really want to take the techs until we've got our institution. That one's about to get it. Once we have one more province, that'll probably be enough. Let's see, we can have 10 diplomats, not worth a lot to us, or we can have an extra manpower and lose some money. That seems okay to me. Yeah, so this should have... Ah, hello. Ah, this. I believe this is where the... Burgundian inheritance kind of starts. This is not the actual Burgundian inheritance, but I think this is how we end up with it. So, Maria here is a good claim, and if we choose her, not a good claim, a good uh, good heir. She's a four five three with a strong claim, and she's sixteen, which means she's not old. She's too old to actually be our child, but oh well. Or contain 20 legitimacy. I believe for the Burgundian inheritance to fire the point either I need to die without a kid, I think, or she needs to be the heir. Let's have a read. Um, I apologize in advance for slaughtering the name of the Burgundian's ruler. It seems the line of De Bogogni has grown rotten and withered with Charles I's final seed. Charles has been incapable of producing an heir in all his years as the last remaining male of the de Borg whatever line. However, the Duke did produce a talented and beautiful princess. What, at the age of 12? He had her at 12? Uh, by the name of Mary. Uh, Marie. His father, Philippe, famously despised her and insisted that no woman should sit the throne of Burgundy. But Charles I is not his father, and times are growing desperate. Should Charles die without producing an heir? Marie will become his de facto successor either way. But if Charles I forsook the pursuit of a male heir and favoured her as the rightful heir to Burgundy, her claim will be strengthened, but we may be able to navigate our way through the succession crisis with minimal strife. Female heirs are seen as quite the prize for ambitious men, and Marie's succession may lead to Burgundy falling under the union of a foreign power. Ah, how badly can it go? Let's get the intelligent princess in. She'll lead us to greatness. We just need to make sure we're stronger than uh, France and the HRE, and we'll be fine. Now, apparently, like when I was like reading the dev diaries, and I, I haven't actually seen anyone play far enough to the Burgundian inheritance in single player yet. And when I've been watching multiplayer, I haven't been watching the Burgundian player. So I don't know exactly how this works. Also, with multiplayer, it's a bit hit and miss because obviously, like France and uh, Austria are also players, and so the way things work tends to be a bit different. Um, so I don't know exactly how this works in single player. When I was reading the dev diaries, they said it is supposed to be difficult to go it alone and not choose France or Austria. But that says, um, and there's supposed to be, essentially you're kind of rewarded if you do pick to go it alone and don't then get killed. So that's what I'd like to try and do. Um, who could be our rival? Who is a sensible rival? Savoy is a sensible rival. Has he left the Empire by any chance? Savoy has left the Empire. Is he excommunicated by any chance? He is not, unfortunately. How, about, how do you feel about the Pope? You and the Pope don't like each other, so you could end up excommunicated, and that would benefit us. So I think Savoy would be an appropriate rival for us. We also need to choose an idea group. Um, so I'll pick Savoy here. No, I don't want that province. 
Uh, do we already have some claims on him? We do have a couple, so we could go to war with him. They, this guy here is also a vassal of Savoy, so we could take his land as well. Who are you currently at war with? Provence, Lorraine, Stetton. You are allied to Aragon, which would be an issue. Now, if only Aragon had fell under Blumin Castile, then it wouldn't be an issue. Okay, idea group. Now, I do not know what would be an appropriate idea group here. I think going forward, we're going to need... I think improved relations and the extra diplomats from the diplomatic ideas would be really good for us. And speaking of which... Let's do that. So I think I'm going to pick diplomatic ideas here. Um, alternatively, I could go for influence. However, as the a while ago now, the aggressive expansion was removed from influence ideas. Influence won't do anything to help us stop getting a coalition. And one of the things, the main thing stopping our expansion right now is possible coalitions. The best thing against that, without taking espionage ideas, which I'd love to take for the memes, but how about no? Uh, would be to take diplomatic ideas. So we will be going for that. Yeah, because we have claims all over Savoy here. For Savoy and his vassal. Oh, we could also go to war with France next year. Has he got any good allies? Not really. The Pope would get involved. Scotland's kind of irrelevant. Oh yeah, I can't quite get Austria involved, can I? Because I don't have the favours with him. And our other ally, Castile, just isn't interested. They're also in a lot of debt. What might be nice here is if uh, Aragon attack Castile, they get in a big war. And that might mean Aragon then wouldn't defend Savoy. But we'll have to see. I can also get Miltech 6 here early. That could be the turning point between us and France if I go to war with him. What I will do right now, seeing as we now have our institution, is I'm going to grab two cavalry. So we're back up to four for maximum flanking. And five infantry, except infantry at 10.1. I can't quite afford that, so we need to wait till next month. All of his vassals still disloyal. That is an important thing with fighting France. It seems, unfortunately, they are not. Which gives France a lot of his power back. So we will have to actually fight them. How many men can he bring to bear? If I, I can see better here now. If we go to war with France, with Scotland and the Papal States joining in, we would be outnumbered. They are more broken up, though. I wonder if there's any chance of the Papal State not joining in. Not really. They would need to end up at war with someone else, I think. So, really what we need is an advantage here. And I think that advantage could be Miltech 6 without the French having it. Oh yeah, can I seize land yet? Yes, everyone is over 50, so this will not annoy anyone too much. Boom. Okay, so 40% wasn't the cutoff for that. None of the bonuses we get from the estates has been lowered, so I think that is fine. When does the truce actually run out? It is July next year. Okay, so we've got a few months still. It's a shame we couldn't get Lorraine. That would be... An extra 6,000 men from them would have been nice. Uh, make the merchants happy? Sure. Uh, I say, I want to keep the loyalty equilibrium up here. This one... Saving us a little bit of money. I could take this one away. We'd lose a little bit of money we're saving on the diplomat. That doesn't matter too much. That would um, say, because eventually we don't want any of them to have any of these things. So I'm going to take that away. I don't think they need that right now. And that will just help us stay a little bit more in control of the estates. Part of me, re part of me like, kind of feels like we should wait for this. But every three years is too long. So we've, we're waiting a potentially up to 12 years before Austria would help us here. By then the Burgundian inheritance could have fired. 
And then we really might be in the shit. Oh, Lorraine has been excommunicated. Shame I cannot attack him. He's also going to be defended by the Emperor. Is he free now then? No, he's still a junior partner of Provence. I guess I can't attack him directly. I'd have to attack Provence. Which means he's kind of safe for everyone that... Well, I was going to say everyone outside the HRE, but that's literally just me when you look at the people bordering him. Um, I think... We're going we're gonna to be risky again, guys. And we're going to go to war with the French. I think we can take them. Especially if I take the Miltech. Oh, how much money am I losing? And can I do much about it? No, all of our money really is going on army and fort maintenance. Which we can't do much about right now. So we'll have to take a loan or two if we do want to fight the French here. Just a shame that their vassals are loyal. Because that makes a big difference when fighting them. Uh, what do we need? We need just a couple territories from them. Um, in fact, let's have a look. What we're aiming for here is the King of Franks mission. So we need three territories. After that, uh, we, ought, we need Paris specifically. And then we need two territories on top of that. And after that, we can complete this mission. Um, we need to take those two territories of Lorraine back. We're a bit stuck while Austria is defending him though. That is just integrating our subjects. So that one's fine to do when we have gone for our forward enough in the game. There's this bit. We can't easily take Switzerland's land. But we could take uh, Savoy's here. That's just papal relations. Kill the succession. We need the crisis to fire. Or it needs to get to 1500. And a PC estate. So I do need to get all the loyalty to 60 at some point. The... Yeah, the only thing that matters is their loyalty of 60 in the crown land. So actually, what I might want to do is chuck some more stuff at them. Even though I just took that thing away from the merchants. So they can all tick up to 60 and we can complete that mission. What do we gain from it? A bit more crown land, which is nice. And their loyalty equilibrium will be higher for 20 years. That's a nice mission to finish, actually. So we'll, go, we'll do that. Let's get it so their loyalty equilibrium for all of them is at least 60. Um, that one, I've already given them. I've given them that. It shouldn't still show in here if I've given it them. I disagree with that being there. Okay, yeah, so theirs is... So I can chuck this at the clergy and that gets them over 60. The nobility right now... Only have an equilibrium of 52. So let's see if we can fix that. I can give them a monopoly on livestock. Um, what that will also do is just give me some cash right now. And that should put their equilibrium over 60, yes. And then we need the burgers here. We can give them a monopoly on paper. And that will put them over 60. So now we just need to wait for all of them to tick up. Uh, I gave them some monopolies, but apparently that didn't actually give me any money. Or maybe it just gave me a very small amount. Okay, so I think declaring this for France wouldn't be an uh, Paris wouldn't be an awful idea here. Do they have any mothballed forts I could take advantage of? Doesn't look like it. France is looking fairly strong right now. At least roughly on par of ourselves. We are slightly weaker than them. I will have a tech advantage though. And they... The Papal State is stuck down there unless he can get a lot of military access. especially, And he needs it through people that don't like him as well. Let's check his rivals. Savoy, Provence, Florence. So he could get like Ferrara, Milan, Switzerland to get up here. But then he'd be stuck on this fort. He won't be able to get it through Savoy, unless our subjects might get it through Savoy, though. Hmm. But even then, he's kind of—he's going to try. And, he's going to get stuck down here by the forts a bit. Scotland isn't too bad, and if you—if you discount the Papal State in Scotland, we are stronger than the French. So I think now is a fine time to declare the war. I'm going to take this tech. Uh, it doesn't matter 
Oh no, uh, is it Knights improved now? I thought something had improved. Apparently not. We're going to declare for Paris because we do need Paris. And then... I want 7,000 men. Led by a 2 siege general over there. I want 4,000 men. Led by... Ooh, I think we just won the war, boys. Six shock. Lovely. Okay. GG. No re. We are the winners. Bugger off. Francy pants. Um, okay. So, now that I've won this war, we're going to end the episode there. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. This was a, There was a, quite a bit of sitting around today. Um, but next time, we will have a war with France. And hopefully... We will become the king of Franks, proving to everyone that we are the best. Ooh, what is kind of bad, actually, with... We could do with really hurting the French during this war, because this only gives me their vassals if their vassals have a liberty desire over 50. We don't need to get their vassals, but it would be very nice to get them if we can. However, all their vassals are loyal right now. They also have a mishmash of Miltex, which is good to see. Can we beat France on the seas? No, not quite. They do have four heavies. We have more lights and things, but I don't think we're going to beat them on the seas. Still, with uh, my heavies, if I see Scottish transports coming down, we might be able to catch them out. Anyway, until next time, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope to see you tomorrow, and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.